And this is what we've got going on at the moment. We're underneath all of these lightning strikes here. Uh, we're on anchor, gusting 40 into 50 is the forecast. Hi everybody and welcome back to SV Blown Away. And here's a quick recap on last week's adventure. We are Ian, Natalie and Nelson and we are emptying the money bank to fill the memory bank. Come and join us each week as the adventure unfolds. This is another part of Liverboard lifestyle that people won't always talk about. It's when the weather's bad and there's 50 knot winds in the forecast. It means only one of us can go ashore. So Nat's just walked the dog and has now come back for a rucksack to go get some fresh shopping. So she's now off on her own in the dinghy, whilst... Whilst Ian lands around and drinks coffee in bed. We're occasionally getting gusts up around 40 knots. We do have 50s in the forecast. The thing with living on board a boat is keeping an eye out for your neighbours. We know that that Canadian couple I've got a boat, it anchor elsewhere, and I've just rowed into there. And we suspect their outboard's broken down, so we'll give them 10-15 minutes if they can fix it themselves. If not, we'll wander over, see if they need our help. So, during storms like this, it's difficult to exercise the dog. So we end up doing things like this. Tape a brush to his leg, so we just pound a brush. Uh huh, yeah. And then just play with him in different locations. Uh huh. Na -na -na -na. Don't na -na -na. I always get in trouble for playing with him inside the boat? Because he's an fear. outside toy. <clears throat> Uh, you probably can't make out the wind. Probably got 40 knots of wind here at the minute. And there's thunderstorms around. Look at that cloud mass right there. There's nothing worse on a night time. This is what we've got going on at the moment. We're underneath all of these lightning strikes here. Uh, we're on anchor, gusting 40 into 50 is the forecast. And that should be lasting until the early hours of the morning. The storm is directly overhead now, the wind's increasing, rain's really heavy, I'm going to go back inside. Here comes the wind. This to 65 okay. because it kept going to 60, 61, and it kept beeping, and so okay. I got to 65. But we're generally sat below 60. Okay. 59. Where's Nelson? I've got him down there, but on the fire side. Okay. We have on board, blown away, a little item called a Vesper Watchmate. And this little grey scale screen 
shows me the distance to the anchor. It shows me the bearing to the anchor. And I also have on screen a pictorial representation of where the anchor is laying in relation to the boat's position. And we can set up a guard zone so that if the boat goes outside of that guard zone, it will set off an alarm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. My bearing and stuff hasn't changed to this, has it? It was like 50 something when I looked at it earlier. And yeah. point 0.8 or point 0.7. Yeah. We've still got, yeah, point yeah. Zero 0.07. So we've still got exactly the same range in bearing to that headland. We also have our radar active. Our radar is currently showing the headland behind us. On AIS it is showing one anchored vessel. The variable range marker is showing the distance to the headland. And the electronic bearing line is showing me the bearing to the point of the headland, the exit of the harbour. And running on a split screen, we also have our electronic chart available. And we can use any or all of that information to tell us if our anchor is dragging, or if we have a problem, something coming towards us, or if it really turns desperate, we can leave the harbour using our radar and chart plotter. It's between 45 radar. and 70. Yeah, much close. I saw the debris coming by like a small boat of some description. I don't know where it went. It'd be over on the rocks, but it came past us. Coming. Here we go again. Yeah. Neighbours are still good though. Yeah. They're still over there. I'm just checking them down. I'm thinking that's them there on the AIS zone. Yeah. Uh, that was a roller coaster. We maxed out <coughs> wind wise at 72 knots, <coughs> the highest I saw on the anemometer. And uh, there's a few people out here who paid the price for it. It's a big schooner. with us is this one. They've done well. So in the storm this whole raft of boats which are left afloat during the winter months, the whole raft 
ended up on the bank and they're currently out there trying to get them off so they're using halyards from the top of the mast to heal the boat to reduce its draft to drag it out of the mud assuming it's mud it could be there for a while so the effort continues to get these boats that were in storage off of the mud or rocks whichever they're on after the storm Hey, good night, Lee. What's the date today? Today's date is the 1st of December, 2021. So it's nearly Christmas. It is. It's not quite the 2nd of December, which is the day that Arnie's opened for breakfast, having walked there through downtown Needry, which looks a bit like downtown Beirut, because mm. they've dug the street up again. So we managed to make it all the way to Arnie's to find out it was a day too early. Arnie's is our favourite cafe. For English breakfast and yeah. for English roasts and pies and so English. Every once in a while when we find a bit of English, we go to Arnie's. Anyway, we've left. We've left Tranquil Bay and we are heading over to Meganisi. Um, it's December and we're going to do what we planned to do in 2019 before Covid hit and that was to go there for Christmas so that we could chill out, relax, we can plug into shore power, we've got water on tap, we've got nice showers, nice people and a nice location. That is our plan for Christmas 21. We've had the problems with cockroaches in this marina and now we've got a problem with cat roaches. This kit is going to eat all of it. Oh no, it's a tiny cat. We've got a tiny cat on the boat. There's a tiny cat on the boat now. Thank you for watching and hopefully we will see you again next week.